Good morning, folks. We've got seismicity, weather, cycles, and an excellent article that plays in both climate and catastrophism. But as always, we are starting with our star and find the last 24 hours much quieter. Minor flaring and plasma activity only. Filaments remain stable. Remember, a small CME could be impacting tonight or tomorrow, but it is indeed minor. The solar wind is elevated with a coronal hole stream, but only to moderate levels of plasma speed in purple, leaving us well below the geomagnetic storm condition at the moment. Sunspots are heading for the limb and will be departing our view here tomorrow or Tuesday after having provided those couple M-class flares the last few days. We're on to earthquakes. In yesterday's show, we said to watch for the seismicity to jump across the Pacific, and boom, we got a six-pointer in Chile. Now, we can't guarantee this is where it will stop, but in that pattern we said exists, we have seen a six-pointer be the realization, and hopefully that's the case again here. Fingers crossed. By the way, if you want to know how to predict earthquakes, there's an entire chapter on this in our book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Folks, while the heat records are all we hear on the television, the record snow and record cold do continue. The current cold snap is going to take over most of the U.S. before it's done. Almost the entire country will be below average the next few days. Two quick notes here. First, well, at least they're getting closer. Article out of Berkeley hitting the long cycle of 22,000 years, which is basically the apsidal precession, which is the more underrated type. And the top story today is one on the solar particle effect on the ozone. The depletion of that ozone and resulting cooling of the stratosphere, which by the way counterintuitively warms the lower atmosphere, is significantly underappreciated. The most modern climate models of CMIP6 considerably discount the true effect of the sun, which is not only a climate story, but one involving the ongoing geomagnetic excursion and weakening magnetic field of Earth. When we dip to those lowest parts of the event in the coming years, the ozone depletion will get to fairly dangerous levels, which top scientists have pegged as one of the driving forces behind the extinctions known to happen during these geomagnetic events like we're entering now. By the way, thanks to Richard W. for posting this pink aurora photo on Facebook, the pink is becoming more prevalent, and that's one of the signs that the weaker magnetic field is letting in more of those solar particles to deeper and deeper altitudes of the atmosphere. Learn more about this with our books, The Next End of the World, which you recently saw on the Reese Report and Anonymous Official Channel, and in the 2022 Observer Supplement, the latest update to both The Next End of the World and Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Find them at the links below the video. Find our playlists and one-on-one -on -one calls as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.